What is up, sport bettors? Uh, today we're gonna be looking at overs and unders in soccer betting. So you know when I first started to do sport bettings, I had a little bit of trouble understanding what overs and unders meant. I tried going online, couldn't find the solution. So that is why I decided to do this video to help those who are still dipping their feet in betway. Before you we continue with this video, please hit that like button and please subscribe. I'm going to be doing more videos like this in the future about where I explain different types of sport bettings where I will also be showing my best live game strategies. Uh, please also, if you've got any problems understanding any sort of betting in sport in betway or sport betting please hit me down in the comments down below i'll make a video about it uh thank you so let's go to overs and unders overs and unders so as you can see uh let's look at the different matches it's barcelona guyaquil versus the Puerto Cioto. So let's go back. So if you go to overs and unders, you'll get something like this where you will make a selection. A selection basically is like you're placing a bet on a bet slip. So if you click on the down arrow, you'll see over 0 0.5 with its odds 1.05. So over 0 0.5 means that they, they you you think this entire match score scores will be over 0 0.5 which is over which is basically one nil and above under 0 0.5 is like you are saying it's gonna be a draw with its odd 6.73 under 0 0.5 means it's gonna be a draw because you under 0 0.5 is like under one nil yeah under one nil so then you also get over 1.5 which is over two over two nil yes once the score says two nil it is over 1.5 you've already won the bet and it's all a 1.8 these side numbers the 1.05 1.80 6.73 are all odds so if you say under 1.5 you are saying it's gonna be below two nil under 2 nil not above not not on 2 nil under 2 nil so if you say over 2.5 you're saying it's gonna be 3 nil and above under 2.5 it's gonna be 2 nil and uh, and below it's not gonna be 3 nil it is not gonna be 3 nil once the score says 3 nil you've you've already lost the bet so over 3.5 is over 4 nil yes it's 4 nil and above and under 3.5 is 3 nil going down. So I think you basically get the concept. The, the 0.5 as you have learned in maths, uh, you, you are basically rounding to the nearest hole. And this is helpful because like, you know when to put the bet and what, and what to place the bet with. So guys, if you think this video was helpful and it explained a little bit better and you started to understand here and there please hit that like button and please subscribe i'm gonna be doing more videos like this and don't forget that i'm gonna be showing you a live a live a live game live game strategy that brings in the wins for me thank you guys hope to see you in my next video don't forget to subscribe